find the inverse of f of x is equal to x plus 2 quantity cubed. Let's start with f of x. And the first step is to replace f of x by y. y equals x plus 2 cubed. And then we're going to switch the x and the y. And once we do that, y is what we want to solve for because that's going to equal our inverse function. So we go ahead and solve for y. Now to get y out of here, right now it's buried within this uh, cubing. So if we want to get rid of the cubing so we can get the y out, we need to cube root both sides. So if I do cube root of x equals cube root of y plus 2 cubed and that gives us cube root of x is equal to, and cube root of a cube will just give us the insides, y plus 2. Solving for y still, we get subtracting 2 on both sides, and that gives us cube root of x minus 2 is equal to y. And that right there is our inverse function, but let's do a notation change. We will write it as f minus 1, f inverse, and we'll put the f inverse on the left side instead of the right. So f inverse is now cube root of x minus 2. And that is the inverse of f of x. And let's just verify that we did it correctly by making sure when we put x into one and then use that as the input for the other one, we get x back out again. Inverse functions undo each other. We start with f of x is equal to x plus 2 cubed. And then we want to find f of f inverse of x. So if we replace the x by f inverse, which is cube root of x minus 2, and then bring down this plus 2, and it's all being cubed we should get just an x out. And let's see what happens. We have minus 2 plus 2 are gone, so we're left with cube root of x, and that's being cubed. And the cube root being cubed will give us just the insides out, which is x. So that one worked. And now we'll check out the other one. Let's start with f inverse of x is equal to cube root of x minus 2. And what we want to find is f inverse of f of x. So what if we put f of x as the input here to the inverse function? We'll get cube root of, and instead of x, we have the entire f of x, which is x plus 2 cubed. And then bring down the minus 2. So if f of x is the input, we expect to get x out if we did this correctly. So now cube rooting a cube gives us the insides, x plus 2, bring down the minus 2, 2's cancel out, and yes, we get x as our final output, which is what we would expect for inverse functions that, because they undo each other. So this is our inverse function of f of x.